Hello, this is Barbara from Cinco Ranch Branch Library in Katy. I'm here to talk about Computers 101, specifically Introduction to the Desktop and Icons. Your desktop is considered your home base. This is where Windows will appear when you open applications or if you open the settings. This is also where you're, you place desktop shortcuts to frequently used apps. The desktop contains a taskbar along the bottom of the screen that offers several tools for working with Windows settings and apps. This is an example of the desktop icons. You can see all the little pictures. Uh, they represent either programs, folders, or files. And on the bottom, that bottom row of gray is called the taskbar and it has some icons in it too. Let's talk about the icons on your desktop. An icon on your computer screen represents an object or a program on your hard drive. For example, the icons below, the little pictures, represent programs, folders, or even files. If these programs, folders, or files are used frequently, it's easy to access them if, you're, if they're saved on the desktop. There are different types of icons. One is an object document icon, which represents files or folders. There's an application icon, which represents programs or apps. There's toolbar icons, which are shortcuts to functions in an app, and those are usually at the top of the screen. And there are menu icons, which are shortcuts to installed, installed applications or settings. The taskbar has three items which are key to using Windows 10. And as you saw before, the taskbar is at the bottom of the desktop screen. A new feature with Windows 10 is Cortana. This is a personal assistant that is a search feature. You can interact with Cortana by entering text or by using spoken commands. If you just click on that little button down there at the bottom, that'll start the Cortana process. Next, we have a task view icon. This view shows you all of the open apps on your desktop in a condensed view. It allows you to switch between them. Next, we have an action center, which is the very far right of your taskbar. This icon provides a list of notifications about such items as new emails or appointment reminders and buttons for various settings such as screen brightness and network connections. Also, the taskbar contains the start button at the bottom left. This button provides access to all apps, shutdown options, and settings. The taskbar displays frequently used applications such as your browsers and File Explorer, which, are, which is used to browse files and folders on your computer. The taskbar also shows current open apps. You can click on an icon to switch between those apps. Now that you've been introduced with the basics, I want you to take time to explore what's on your desktop. Go down to the bottom of the taskbar and start clicking on the icons and see what they do. So get familiar with the various applications and please just have fun.